Hafide. My name is Alani Ujoa, as all of you know, and this is my project for Women and Gender Studies 101 at UOG. Uh, my professor is Dr. Bowman, and uh, my interviewees are at random. I didn't ask them for their um, personal information, however, after observing them, I noticed the different types of backgrounds that they come from. Strict parents, religion, different type of race, and also different types of perspective. So, with that being said, to start off, I do believe and agree that Guam should be able to have a sex educational program for public and private schools. Kids need to be aware of what they're getting into. The social media is a very persuasive place and the influences that are set upon us are very influential. Students, especially younger and newer generations, need to understand the causes and effects, need to understand pleasure, consent. They also need to understand that if not protected, they can get some type of disease, even more so a disorder. So with that being said, I believe that Guam's children, Guam's students, Guam's future leaders need to understand the causes and effects of abstinence, condoms, birth control, and the awareness of what they will be getting into. Because pleasure has so many other definitions that most of us even know about. So with that being said, this next clip is my is my first, excuse me, my first interviewee. Enjoy! Do you, or did your sex ed in school involve discussions of pleasure and how to find pleasure in sex? Was masturbation discussed and explained or taught? Um, when I took health class and we discussed about um, sex and stuff like that, we didn't really talk about pleasure or masturbation. We mostly just focused on like the different diseases. So do you believe that um, pleasure and masturbation contradict with um, the schools informing students about sex? Um, I don't think so because you know if you think about it like maybe like I, don't know how to I think you're gonna have one teen in your entire class who's experienced like masturbating or like wants to know about pleasure so I think it's important for teachers to include that in, when they're talking about sex. So. so you believe that masturbation is a great part of pleasure and or sex? Um, and like it, that people need to be informed about it? About yeah I would say that people need to be informed about it because you're gonna have like like I said someone in your class who's experiencing it. So. Yeah. Alright. Thank you. Okay. Do you believe or did your sex education in school involve discussions of consent or enthusiastic consent or only yes means yes? Was there a discussion of rape or forced compulsion? Uh, yes, there was a discussion about consent. Uh, my school provided us with um, presenters um, from like um, the police force and then they tell us about the law about consent and yeah <laughs> okay so um so pretty much you weren't taught sex education from a teacher yes. you're taught sex education from a presenter, a presenter. Yes. Oh, I see. do you believe that um that actually helped you to understand what consent is and what different types of consent there yes is? i think coming from an officer you'd be scared so <laughs> you'd want to like follow the what they're saying and retain the information they're giving you. So. Ah, okay. Thank you. Did your family give you any knowledge about um, sexuality, STDs, or STIs, primary to sex? Okay, so honestly, they didn't actually give me any information about sexuality or sex in general. So, like, everything that I learned basically was from my peers. and. I can say that I'm not really educated about STDs as I would like to be, or like, yeah. So do you believe that sex education is important within mm -hmm. public and private schools on Guam? Yeah, I definitely believe that because people should know what they're getting into before actually doing it, so yeah. 
at the time, I was in private school and I learned sex ed in health classes in 6th grade and ninth grade. And they just taught me the basics about sex, STDs, and how they are transmitted and how to potentially get rid of them. If that's, sometimes it's possible, sometimes it's not. And yeah, they told me about pregnancy and just overall basics about sex. So even in a private school, a Christian private, yeah, Christian private school, you still had the sex education. Yes. Oh, okay. Thank you. Your knowledge of sex primarily come from. Uh, I learned it during uh, my high school days at a private school. So was it amongst your peers, or did, or were you taught sex education? I was taught by the authority. Uh, they were specifically within safety reasons because back in middle school they also taught it during middle school during private sessions but they didn't see us as in, uh, mature enough so they just waited until we were uh, high schoolers and we were more mature in a sense to learn about it more. So um, as a UOG student do you believe that there are statistics that 12 year olds are even having sex at their age and they are about seventh grade so do you believe that sex ed should be taught in middle schools as well mm. I, could, I would say it would be pretty okay earlier the better but uh, I don't I don't have enough experience to say you know, perspective but I wouldn't go with my point just earlier the better just to know alrighty thank you this concludes my project amongst UOG students who are aware and who wish to be aware that sex, condoms, birth control can be used in many different ways. Even more so, to be educated is to have power. Thank you and have a wonderful day.